Eat Beat is made possible by the generosity of the following underwriters. Zing Basket delivers fresh groceries on time to your home in the greater Pittsburgh area. Zing Basket is proud to underwrite this program on Pittsburgh Community Television. Visit Zing Basket on the web at www.zingbasket.com. Market Street Grocery, located in downtown Pittsburgh in Market Square at 435 Market Street. Market Street Grocery provides fresh food in a deli setting to offices and residents of downtown Pittsburgh. For more information, visit MarketStreetGrocery.com. Market Street Grocery is a proud underwriter of free speech television and Eat Beat. And by Colo Friso Wines. Colo Friso Wines are imported direct and exclusively to the wine bar located at 435 Market Street. Find out about Cola Friso Wines at MarketStreetGrocery.com slash wine. Cola Friso Wines are proud supporters of community television in Pittsburgh. Welcome to John Valentine's Eat Beat. I'm John Valentine, Executive Director of the Pittsburgh Downtown Community Development Corporation, an award-winning restaurateur. I would like to invite you to join me as we explore the bustling restaurant scene here in downtown Pittsburgh. Welcome to a special edition of Eat Beat. And the reason it's special is today's guest is Eve Crow, um, the owner of the restaurant we're in now, Nola. And Eve is from Lyon, France, and um, we're lucky to have him in Pittsburgh. So, Eve, tell me, how did you go from Lyon, France to Pittsburgh? Well, it's 35, year, 35 years ago, I, uh, I actually left France and landed in California, believe it or not. Um, I was there a couple years. I was lucky to get married, but my wife, was, who was originally from Pittsburgh, decided that uh, we should uh, come back to our hometown and give it a try, and I did. And I've been here ever since. I, I love the city. I think it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, a wonderful, it's a wonderful city. People are great. And you've contributed a lot to our city, so. Well, I tried yeah. in some small part. Let's go back to Lyon. Where, where were the origins of your passion for food? Well, like most kids who were lucky enough to have a mom who knew how to cook, I, I fell in love with my mom's cooking at a younger, young age. Um, I also learned how to cook because I had to take care of my brother. Um, my parents were uh, very busy. They were sales rep. They were on the road a lot. And I had to learn how to cook, and I, I did that in, the, in my house, and I just fell in love with the, with the, the process. And, you know, we, we always talk about the transition that Pittsburgh has had over the last 10, 12 years. Right. But the true pioneer were, was you. Well, I don't know about that. Well, I mean... I mean there were, guy, there were guys before me, you know, the Kevin Joyce and, 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 and Borsati. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a process. I, I think I probably came in at the right time. For me, I remember sitting down with you. I was really new here. and. The thing that I love that Pittsburgh didn't have that I was used to in New York was the big windows that Sonoma had. Right. And I just knew, I said, this is going to be a great restaurant. But right. Anyway, thank you for your contribution. Let's My talk pleasure. a little bit about NOLA. Sure. Now, NOLA is a New Orleans style or what it is. you call Creole? It's a New Orleans style restaurant, yes. So, what, why would someone from France decide to do a, a New Orleans style. Well, New Orleans has its French. It does, and that's, you know, that's, there's, that's a part of it. I mean, the, uh, the, the French heritage and, and, and the New Orleans culture is something that attracted me, but, um, you know, when you go to this city, I mean, you can't help falling in love with the vibrancy. Um, there's music on every street corner. Uh, the food is fantastic. Um, I, it's, for me, it was an easy, it was an easy choice. Yeah. 
um, and it's worked out well. It has. Yeah. A good location on Market Street. Yes. Um, that being said, where do you see downtown and the food scene downtown as we move forward? I mean, we just got, it was it Zagat's gave us the number one restaurant city. That's a great accolade to have. But as we move forward, what do you say? Well, the, I mean, the city has been exposed a lot in the last 10 years. There's been tremendous growth in, in, of restaurants. Uh, you know, there's so many different concepts that are being started. I think it's wonderful if you're a resident. Uh, and um, where it's going to go from there, it's, it's hard to tell, but I, 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 I can only see bigger and better things for, right. for downtown. And since we're going to do the second segment at Poros, sure. I want to ask you a couple of questions. I love Poros. Poros has you know, the Mediterranean seafood that you just don't see anywhere. Right. And so was that part of the reason that you wanted to do it? It, it was. I, you know, I grew up, when I was a kid, we used to you know, get in the car and go down to the Med, just like people here go to the Jersey Shore. And that was it. we spent every summer down there. And that's, there, there's a culture, a seafood culture on the Med, on, on, on every beaches and every harbor, and not just in France, but in Italy and Greece, all the way around the Med, that is just, uh, it's centered around seafood and, uh, and simply prepared seafood, uh, nothing, nothing over the top. And, and that's what I wanted for Poros, and, and hopefully I think that's what and, and we've accomplished. The bar, the bar scene at Poros is just tremendous. I love your bar. Yeah. Thank you. I don't know who designed it, but that, that was, they did a good we're, job. We were, we're actually voted one of the top hundreds, one, in the top 100 hotspots in, uh, in, uh, in the country by open table uh, um, customers. And well deserved. so we're, I, I mean, thank you. you know, I love going to that bar. Just a perfect, perfect restaurant. Um, so we're going to go into the kitchen here. Sure. And um, tell me, what's, what's one of your favorite dishes? So I think Maggie's going to prepare, Chef Maggie uh, is going to prepare what, what is my favorite dish on this menu, and it's a chicken and dumpling. It's simple, but it's, it's, it's amazing. It's, uh, it's, it's one of my favorite. Well, that's the best part of the job. Yes. <laughs> when I'm interviewing people like Eve, I get to taste the food. So, so let's go into the kitchen, and let's, let's go see Chef Maggie and get, get this prepared. We're in the kitchen at NOLA with Executive Chef Maggie, and she's going to cook up Eve's favorite dish, the chicken and the dumpling. So with that, let's get started. Okay, great. All right, so we're going to start off with uh, our chicken thighs. We're going to season them with some salt, pepper, and our NOLA voodoo dust. That's just a combination of uh, Creole spices, smoked paprika, and some Cajun seasoning. We're going to start that on so the grill. So you started on the grill. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to cover it a little bit as well surrounded by the heat so it'll cook a little bit quicker. Then we're going to turn our pan on, get that nice and hot. So you're adding mushrooms, We're going to add so mushrooms and uh, dumplings first and brown those up in the butter. Then we'll add in the roasted heirloom carrots and the English peas. You're using the brown butter? Yeah, we're going to brown the butter with the mushrooms. Oops, excuse me. Great. So we'll start off with some butter. And then we have a mixed wild mushroom. We'll put that in as well. And our ricotta dumplings. They're a little fluffier than a classic dumpling, chicken and dumplings. And then we'll brown them together in the pan with the butter. Very good. Yeah. You know that old saying, you eat with your eyes. This, this looks great. So. <laughs> okay. And how long does that usually take to cook? This will take about a minute and a half or so. You just wanted a little color on the mushrooms, a little color on the dumplings. Okay. So while she's cooking, let me just say that you all should be jealous of me because I have the greatest job in the world. Not only do I come here and, and associate with great people, I get to taste all the food when it's done. <laughs> so I can't wait. It looks good. It smells great and we'll see where it goes from here. Yeah, great, so. awesome. So we're getting some nice color on our mushrooms and our dumplings right now. And then we're gonna add in some of our uh, tri-colored heirloom carrots. 
They've already been roasted in the oven. And we're also going to add the English peas as well and cook that together. I'm going to check on our chicken while we wait for this to cook a little bit longer. So once again, as she's cooking, I just like to tell everybody, this is NOLA on the square. It's right in the heart of Market Square. You have to come there. It's New Orleans style cooking. And I'll tell you what, you couldn't go to New Orleans and get New Orleans style cooking like it, like it is in NOLA. Okay, so now they all have a little color on it. We're going to put some chicken stock in the pan. And we're going to season the sauce together as well. So we'll put some more salt, pepper, and the voodoo dust, of course, inside. Now what was the last piece of, I, I knew you had salt and pepper, what was the other secret? Voodoo season? dust. Ah, voodoo so dust goes on everything. <laughs> we have the secret to Chef Maggie's cooking right here. <laughs> and we're going to let this reduce a little bit until it gets a little thicker. Okay. In the meantime, we're going to check on our chicken on the grill as well. So we'll have a nice little char on it. It'll have that smoky flavor from the grill. So this will take about another two minutes or so to reduce. The dumplings will get warm together. Everything will combine. Blend, yeah. Great. So while we're waiting, tell me a little bit about you. Oh, I'm from the Philadelphia area originally. I moved out here to go to the University of Pittsburgh. Um, I've been here for about 10 years. I love the city, so I've never moved home. I was born in Philadelphia. What part of Philly are you from? I'm from the suburbs. It's uh, Bucks County. Okay. Yeah. Like around New Hope or closer to Newtown? A little closer to Newtown. Okay. See, I was just to show you that I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and, and how did you get involved with cooking? I started working at a pizza place to make some extra money uh, when I was younger and I've just loved it ever since then so I picked up a lot of jobs in my younger uh, teenage years working at country clubs, different restaurants in the Philadelphia area and then when I went to school out here I did the same thing. I just kept finding different restaurants to learn new things and I've loved it ever since. Great. My first job ever in a restaurant was at a restaurant in Philadelphia called La Cucina. It was on South Street. Ah. It's not there anymore, but that was my very <laughs> first restaurant job. Great. What did you do there? You know, it's, it's funny. I, st I started out as a dishwasher, worked my way up the server, wound up bartending. Great. Did a lot of different things. I learned a lot there. La Cucina, for those of you that don't know what it means, it means don't eat the food. That's <laughs> a joke. It means the kitchen. Every now and then I, I attempt humor. It doesn't usually go over well, but I try. All right, so we put our chicken in the oven for a couple minutes just to finish with our sauce. If it's not sauce. funny, you can just cut it out, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> trying to, like, fill some of the time. Cool. Well, the I, it was funny. <laughs> 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 it'll be fine. And they're not open anymore, no, so. No, they're not open, so. <laughs> As she's cooking, I'd like to mention that there's a lot of music here every Friday and Saturday. One night it could be blues music, one night it could be jazz, and, and a lot of nights it could be a combination. And um, it's, it's just a great entertainment. And, you know, when I had my restaurant on 6th Street, people would come in and say, where do we go for entertainment? And back then, there wasn't anywhere. So now you have a place like, like Nola to come and, and enjoy. So we're hoping that you have dinner here. But even if you don't, come after for the entertainment. Okay, well, our sauce looks great. We're also going to take our chicken out of the oven. And we'll come over here and we'll plate. I'm going to get out of your way while you plate that. So as I always say that there's some shows that are real tight, we have the loosest show on earth. 
So not only am I going to try this, but I'm going to ask my cameraman to come over and, and taste some of this delicious fruit also. And then we're just going to garnish it with some fried sage on top as well. And there we have our chicken and dumplings. And there it goes. Can we get a picture of this call? But I have to taste this. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> that is, I'm talking about the food in my mouth and I apologize. Extremely tender. Mm. And tasty. Sauce is excellent. Oh, thank you. Excellent. Well, my, this is Eve's favorite dish, and I can see why. Mine, past tense, was the catfish. This might be it. Mm. Very tender, very good. Well, that is a, that's just excellent. I, I don't even know if I have words to describe the taste, and that's plural. The broth is great. The dumpling is great. The chicken is tasty and tender. What, what did you call it? Voodoo? Your voodoo? Voodoo dust, yeah. Your voodoo <laughs> dust. You have to get that recipe for your voodoo <laughs> dust. Anyway, thank you to Eve Carell and thank you, Chef no Maggie. Problem. Thank you. It was a pleasure. My pleasure. Eat Beat is made possible by the generosity of the following underwriters. Zing Basket delivers fresh groceries on time to your home in the greater Pittsburgh area. Zing Basket is proud to underwrite this program on Pittsburgh Community Television. Visit Zing Basket on the web at www.zingbasket.com. Market Street Grocery, located in downtown Pittsburgh in Market Square at 435 Market Street. Market Street Grocery provides fresh food in a deli setting to offices and residents of downtown Pittsburgh. For more information, visit MarketStreetGrocery.com. Market Street Grocery is a proud underwriter of free speech television and Eat Beat. And by Colo Friso Wines. Colo Friso Wines are imported direct and exclusively to the wine bar located at 435 Market Street. Find out about Cola Friso Wines at marketstreetgrocery.com slash wine. Cola Friso Wines are proud supporters of community television in Pittsburgh.